All right, so this particular functional skills question is a bit of a beast. Uh, there's a lot to it, and it's five marks for the first part and an extra mark at the bottom for doing a check of our answer. Um, let's give it a read through, and then we'll talk about how we're going to tackle this. Usher is a local councillor. She wants to write about a new housing development. The diagram shows the space for the new development. You can see it's a triangle, it's half a mile high and half a mile wide. Usher thinks that the area of the development will be greater than the total area of 50 football pitches. Usher knows that a football pitch is rectangular, 100 metres by 50 metres, and that one mile is 1,600 metres, uh, or 1,600 metres. Will the area of the development be greater than the total area of 50 football pitches? Now, first thing I'm going to do, just, just quickly, off in one corner, I'm just going to draw out one of those football pitches. Um, it is uh, 100 metres by 50 metres, and we're wondering if the area of this is bigger than 50 of these. That's what we're trying to work out. But first, it, I mean, we can find the area of a football pitch and then times it by 50. Actually, maybe that's a really good place to start, because even if we don't know how to do anything else, we can definitely find the area of 50 football pitches. And if you weren't sure that we had to do that, just look here, like the total area of 50 football pitches. It says right there, so even if we don't know how to do any of the rest of the question, we can find the area of 50 football pitches. Now, one football pitch, because it's a rectangle, uh, is going to be base times height, so 100 times 50, that's going to give us one football pitch. Now, you might know the trick for timesing numbers like this. It's where you just times the two um, first digits of each number and then add all the zeros on afterwards. In other words, 1 times 5 is 5, and then add on 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3. So one football pitch is 5,000 meters squared, and we need 50 of them. So we now need to times that by 50. And again, we can times the first two numbers together to get 25, and then add on 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and that's the area of 50 football pitches. Now, of course, all this stuff that I'm writing is, this, is the equivalent of you writing something on paper. You might do it to like help you work out the answer, but you're only marked for what goes on the screen. So let's transfer that over to this working box, which is quite small. So I'm going to have to be quite um, cramped with how I fit everything in. But things we have done, we have done 100 times 50, which equaled 5,000. Um, we then did 5,000 times 50. Come on times 50, which equaled 250,000. And that's 50 football pitches. Next, let's try and find the area of uh, the housing development. Um, if I was trying to find the area at the moment, I would do base times height and then divide it by two. But the issue there is that I have miles and I'm trying to compare that with meters. So what I'm going to do instead is convert these two meters first. And to do that, I'm going to need this conversion that we are told. Now, if one mile is 1,600 meters, then a half of a mile, which is how tall and wide this triangle is, must be 800 meters. So uh, we're going to turn these into 800 meters. Um, and then we'll do base times height divided by two to get the area of this triangle. Um, now, that means we're doing base times height, and then we'll get our answer and divide by two, because that's how you find the area of a triangle. And just like last time, we'll do eight times eight, which is 64, and then add on one, two, three, four zeros. Uh, and then we divide that by two. Now 64 divided by two is 32, and then add on the four zeros. So the housing development has an area of 3, 000, uh, 320,000 meters squared. Now, I, again, I'm running out of space, so this is frustrating. Um, you want to be able to show every single thing that you've done, and it's frustrating when they restrict the amount of space you have to do that. So I'm going to have to pick some really important things that we've done. Uh, I'm going to say this last bit here, where we took the 800 times 800 and halved it. That would be 640,000 divided by 2, and the answer to that was 320,000. Um, so actually we've got enough information here, haven't we? We've done 
we've got the area of the um, 50 football pitches, that's what we have here, uh, and we've got the area of the housing development. So actually we've done all the maths we need to do, which makes me realise we actually probably did have space to put this entire calculation in. You know, there was that one step that I missed out where I didn't include this first thing we did. Um, so there actually would be space, and if this was a real exam, I'd really encourage you to actually write that out. But just because I'm explaining how to do it, I think you get the picture. Um, will the area of the development be greater than the total area of the 50 football pitches? So this is the development. Uh, this is the football pitches. Is the area of the development greater than the area of the 50 football pitches? Yes, because the development is 320,000 while the pitches are only 250,000. So the answer is yes. Right, next we need to use reverse calculations to show a check of our answer. Uh, this, is, this is actually not too bad because all of our working out kind of lends itself to being done with a reverse calculation. So a quick reminder, when you do a reverse calculation, um, let's say you did like 18 minus four equals 12 or something. Hang on, not that, 14, my bad. Um, let's, say, let's say you did that. Uh, the reverse calculation, your check, starts with the answer. So it starts with 14. Instead of taking away four, we plus four. And 14 plus 4, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It is 18, and because these numbers are all the same, uh, it checked out. That's our check, and we've checked that the original answer was correct, which it is. Um, so we're going to pick. We're going to pick any part of that working out. I'm going to choose to do um, this first thing we did, and we're going to do a reverse check of that. Now, like we discussed, that means we're going to start with our answer. Oh, sorry, get rid of that. Uh, start with our answer, which is 5,000. Uh, we times by 50 before, so this time we're going to divide by 50, and the answer should be this number here, this 100, and in fact it is. So 5,000 divided by 50 is 100, which shows this original calculation was correct. Uh, you'll notice as well that instead of divide, I've just put the slash sign here, which is, which is fine, that's an acceptable replacement for the divide sign. Um, and there we have it. So quite, quite a long and complicated question. Um, for part A, we have to find the area of a football pitch and then use that to find the area of 50 football pitches. And like I've said before, even if you couldn't do anything else, that's really solid to be able to pick apart something you can do in a question. And the fact that it says in the, in the little gray box, in the question itself, is the development bigger than the area of 50 football pitches? You're gonna need the area of 50 football pitches. And it's just a rectangle, base times height, times by 50 and you've got that part. We then have to compare that to the area of the development which we did by finding the area of that triangle. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2 but we had to convert the distances from miles into meters so that we had com uh, units that we could compare. Uh, so we converted them, found out that each one was 800. Base times height divided by 2 then gave us that area and that was enough for us to decide that um, uh, yes the development is bigger than 50 football pitches. Or did I get those back to front? No, I didn't. Yeah, the development, yeah, is bigger. 320,000. Uh, and the football pitches were only 250,000. Right, that's enough. I feel like I spent a long time talking through that one, but it was quite a long question, so that's how it goes. Uh, I hope that helped. Thank you very much. On to the next one.